Let's try out Elemental AI properly on Elemental. You're probably thinking, hey, it's not even out yet or on beta release, but what if I told you I've got early access and we're going to look at it in action right now. We've seen the demos where AI was kind of within the content and the CSS bit for custom code. But did you know that if you go to WordPress Elemental and custom code, and then you go to add new custom code, it now says write me code. So you can actually create like snippets and stuff here as well. I'm just going to click write me code and it will then open up the interface. Now you might get a message that says you accept the terms and conditions. You just tick that and here we go. And it already gives you some options like Facebook Pixel or Google Analytics. Let's go and test it out. I'm going to drop in a prompt here where I want to remove all of the screen options that you normally see on WordPress dashboard. And I'm going to hit generate code. And here's what it's returned. Now, I would always say you want to double check before you go and activate and use anything. But this is using a bit of code. Now, for testing purposes, I went and put this into chat GPT as well. And you can see they are exactly the same other than the coloring in terms of what it's gone produced. That gets a tick from me. And by the way, I know that this code does work because I've used it somewhere else. So this is great. However, if I was to go and type it in again, and this is just for testing purposes, and I ask it to do another search, sometimes it will generate another bit of code which isn't exactly the same. So always play a bit of caution and test things out make sure you're using a backup or a staging site. So that's in the custom code for Elemental. Now let's go into an actual page. I've got a header, a text editor, a HTML widget, a button, and I've gone and put in an icon box. If I go over to the header, you will now notice the little stars, which kind of indicates the Elemental AI. If we then click that, we can now just type in whatever prompt we want. How about a punchy headline with juggling family and web design? I don't think there's any such headline that is possible. It's probably going to say, you know, Mleh. Balancing act, and I tell you what, let's just use it. <laughs> Not bad, right? And of course, with any type of AI, we would always recommend you humanize it. But if you're struggling, this is a great way to get inspiration. Let's go to the text editor and again, write with AI. Now, notice I don't have to delete the existing wording, I can just put in my prompt and then it will automatically overwrite it. So my prompt is give me a paragraph about how difficult it can be to juggle family life and being a web designer. And we have a paragraph generated for us. We can make it longer, we can make it shorter. I mean, of course, spick big spelling and grammar. Let's just try that out and see if it does make a huge big difference. I'm going to assume it has made a big difference, but we can also simplify simplify the language. The bit I like kind of the most is how we can actually make it witty or change the tone. So here are some of the options that are available for you. You can see it's kind of shortened it and you do have a range of languages as well. Now scanning on this, this does cover a quite a wide base. However, it doesn't have um, certain Asian languages on here yet and I'm assuming that might expand in the future. I don't know. Let's just go and drop the text in. Again, if you're struggling with your content or your clients giving you like weak sentence and you need to kind of fill out a page, this could help you out. Now, you will have noticed though that I went and put in my headline and when I did my text editor, it's not like chat GPT whereby you could say, give me a headline and then your next prompt, you would say, now give me an article or a paragraph. You do have to kind of instruct it. Because for instance, if I was to now duplicate this, go back into this uh, second text editor, go back to the right with AI, and I now say um, new prompt, and I say, tell me more, will it work? Let's have a go. And not surprisingly, it doesn't. So a good recommendation would be to make sure you keep a copy of your prompt to, if you want to expand on it more. So you're going to have to bear that in mind. Because if I was to now say, now tell me more or give me another paragraph, it's probably going to give us something similar to what it's already got. So I see that as a little bit of a limitation, but you can make it work for you if you are clever with your prompting. Now, there is something that is kind of blatantly glaring at us over here, and it's the upgrade option. You click this, it doesn't really tell you anything more that this is coming soon. And it does say that if you want unlimited access and generation now, 
Is there going to be an additional charge for this or not? Or will it be included within Elemental and Elemental Pro? The same applies for the button, even the in, um, icon box we have over here. Wherever you have the right with AI option, you can go in, stick in your prompt, and it will give you some text. And the examples we've got here are great. You know, product description, create a blog post for. And again, if you're struggling with your articles, like you want to release them quite regularly, this could really work for you. In fact, you could write an article, take the text and stick it into LinkedIn for social media as well. I've already mentioned custom code earlier, but I did drop in the HTML widget as well. So let's go in and do code with AI. How about creating some code for a bouncing button that contains the text, hello Molly. It's done that really, really quickly. And I'm now gonna hit insert and you can see what it's doing. What if I was to copy that code, go back almost to the wizard or code with AI. And I'm now gonna say, make the button bounce slower, paste in the code and now hit generate code. We'll insert this new code, kind of just added it at the end of the original code, but it has kind of put them in sync a tiny bit there. I would always say that it can be dangerous if you're not familiar with coding to kind of just use whatever AI gives you. Like I said earlier, make sure you got a backup, maybe use a staging site just to be sure. You could take this and then say to someone, okay, look, this is what I've got. It's not perfect. Can anyone help me? And rather than them starting completely from scratch, you've got something you can build upon. Now I've gone and dropped in the accordion widget and most of us don't always like it that the very first accordion tab is always open from default. There's no settings to stop that. Of course, we know there's a way to stop that from happening if you were to use some custom CSS. And the way it is is that is you need to make the very first tab be a dummy like this. And then the content in here will disappear. So in effect, accordion tab two becomes accordion tab one like that. But we want to get rid of the dummy. Well, normally we'd go get the CSS. But if I go to custom CSS now, again, we have the code with AI. I'm going to click that. If I type hide the first tab of the accordion, it will actually give me incorrect code. So you've got to be very careful of the prompt you do here. I'm going to change this to be, do not display the first tab of the accordion. Believe me, I've tested this out. Let's now insert that code. And you can now see that the dummy accordion is now hidden. We have accordion one and accordion two, but if we go back to the layout, this dummy is now not visible. Now this did take a couple of goes to get the CSS right, but if you're careful with your language, and obviously if you use the code it generates and it doesn't give you the desired result, just delete it out, the CSS, and just start a new prompt. Back into the text editor, I'm gonna try and create a more lengthier article than what we had before. The prompt is about keywords and SEO. Not bad, right, in terms of the length of what we're getting there. And don't forget, you do have the option to change the tone. The options are all there. You might wanna make it more inspirational or motivational, and you can simplify, shorten it, or make it longer. That's now inserted into it. Now, for anyone who's looking at this and now thinking, well, what about if I was on an actual WordPress classic editor? We're over here now. I've inserted the paragraph uh, text block, but it doesn't actually activate the Elemental AI prompter, which kind of makes sense because it's built within Elemental. So you could either build it in a fake dummy page and then pop the text over, or in this scenario, you might still want to use others like Bing AI, ChatGPT, etc. I've worked with many websites, uh, clients, sorry, whereby you get a really weak structured bit of text from them. You know, that's all they're going to give you. You push them and that's the best you're going to get because they're almost hoping that you're going to make magic out of the words. And if you want to get the job closed off and closed down really quickly, this could be the tool that you need to help you get further with your Elementor website. Is it going to solve everything? No, because sometimes the content it produces might not work for your client or their audience. But as a prompter and a starter, I think it's a great addition to the Elementor toolkit or widgets or Elementor elements or whatever you want to call them. I know that you're going to find use for this and I'm going to play with it more. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no
no shame, there's no time for the pain, let the grind, I could change in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life. I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the pack.